Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. And uh, if you're watching this video for the first time and this is your first time visiting this channel, before I start this, please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you like it because I already mentioned this, I always uh, see that most of the people watching my videos are not actually subscribers and hey it's just you know it's free to subscribe and uh, the content that I publish in this channel you're not going to find in any other channels on YouTube or at least for now so uh, make sure to uh, subscribe because this is really is going to help me a lot and like I've mentioned it's free to subscribe now I want to mention a few other things here really quickly if you are a subscriber and you've benefit you have uh, you, you know there's a benefit from this channel and you want to support me you can go to my patreon here there will be the links all of the things that I'm going to mention in the description below make sure to check them out you can support me on patreon you know it's like one dollar a month it's not a big deal or you can go and uh, support me with three dollars or five dollars if you want so this is my channel subscribe to my channel there will be plenty of uh, videos related to uh, mining engineering and geology this is my Facebook page I have like 16,000 followers uh, currently uh, I publish a lot of free content uh, related to geology and mining this is a blog like I have like a uh, couple of blogs I'm gonna work on this a little bit I'll be publishing, you know, uh, really simple and uh, digestible uh, articles that you can read in a couple of minutes and understand some concepts. And you can go and take one of my courses in my geotrainings.com website. All the links are going to be in the description below. So we're going to be covering in this uh, video drill hole compositing but in micromine in, in the previous video we've covered how to do that in Serpac now we're going to cover that how to be how to do it in micromine so this is actually part of the advanced block modeling and resource esti estimation course this is a really great course if you want to learn uh, block modeling and resource estimation in micromine and there will be a part two for this course so stay tuned for that so uh, let's go and dive into this. So the first thing that I want to mention here, I'm going to be using a data set that is actually available on the Micromine website and they call it the example data set. So uh, if you noticed in the previous video in the SERPAC, I mentioned that you can look at the histogram to know what is the compositing link. So let's do that inside Micromine and we're not going to skip that. So let's go to stats and then histogram. So we are going to display a histogram out of a data that we have. Okay, so then the input in here, I'm going to use this one, which is the NVG essay data. And the data that I want to visualize here, it's going to be uh, the interval. If I go to here and take a look at the data, click on right click and then choose view. You will see that I have a whole ID, the sample ID, from, to, and then I have interval. Interval is basically the uh, to minus from, which means that I will have like the, all the different intervals in here. Okay. So another thing, quick thing that I can do, I can select the interval here and then click on the stats. And you can see that I have the mix, the minimum, the maximum, and the sum, the mean. The mean is around 2. And you can see they have the median is 1.05. So the median all uh, the mean all uh, you know give us a really great idea on what kind of things that we can do. So it's around two probably. And let's do that a different way. So we have that. We have the interval in here, and then uh, we are going to calculate the minimum, the maximum, and the bin size. Uh, you can either uh, you know set the number of bins in here these are the bins of the histogram or you can set the bin size if you want so let's go with a bin size of 0 0.5 or maybe let's make the number of bins let's say 50 so I show you how that looks like 
So keep these the way they are by default, but if you want to play around with these, you can go if you want. So click on OK. And now we have a histogram in here. You can see now the maximum number you know, of uh, values is around here. So that's probably, um, you know, that's, you know, we have like 26% in here of the values maybe. So the mean actually is not um representative in here so you can see that it is probably around one in here okay so you can see most of the values are around one so uh and that's actually what we uh want to use so let's go this is uh i want to show you how you can take a look at the data and we take a look at in-depth statistics in that course in the advanced block modeling course the link is going to be in the description if you want to go into advanced statistics and then probably in the next update or in the next part of the course is going to be geostatistics so make sure to take a look at that course so uh, we took note of that and then what do we need what we need to do is to go to drill hole and we're actually not displaying any drill holes in here because I think we have uh, already a video for that so uh, I'll make sure to put the uh, link in the description also we covered that in our implicit modeling course and in our uh, advanced block modeling course and uh, all, almost all the other courses we already cover how to create a geological database and visualize them so we just choose now inside drill holes in the Micromine 2021 you can see that we have this uh, cool uh, ribbon menu so we go to drill holes because we are interested in drill holes and then we go to composite then we are going to do down hole compositing you can see like we we've seen in Serpac we have a bunch of types of uh, compositing but we are interested in the down hole compositing in here so click on down hole and now we choose the interval file the interval file is actually the one that we've seen which is NVG I believe essay it's this one and then the if you want just to composite for example where the the essay I mean the uh, how to say that where the grade or the 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 or exists you can do that so you can go to filter in here so you press this one right click and it create an, a new filter and you can just say that if the AU for example or the geology or the code is different than this then uh, don't apply um, the compositing or so on so we don't know we're not going to do any filters right now so you get the hole here the from is here and the to field is here so if you have the density field you can go and also uh, use that in our case I believe we don't have the density in this data set in here so let's skip that and then we are going to ignore records with the uh, leading character and we are going to ignore all of these things okay so we then we go to compositing and we've seen that the compositing interval is probably around one we are going to composite all the ranges the minimum composite length so you can set this to probably 0 0.5 or uh, in our case I'm gonna just also use one and uh, then here is what to do so residual adjustment so for example if you have uh, a drill hole that is you know that starts from zero and goes down 200 meter 0.5 which is the maximum depth then you're going to have like from zero to one from one to two and so on and at the end you'll have like that 0 0.5 the residual so what do you want to do with that you want to discard it or you want to add it to the last interval or you want to micromine to recalculate the intervals and redistribute that uh, small chunk uh, you know along with the other uh, you know composited intervals in our case we are going to add that just to the last interval and for the, for the method we are going to use the weighted average so you can use plenty of other uh, ones in here and we are going to keep the uh, character field to first but you can take a look at these okay now here you can see that we have the drill hole database and that we cannot actually use it we'll take a look at that 
why uh, it is grayed out and when can we actually use that. If you go to the output here, we can call this NVG or whatever. And let's call this YouTube so I know exactly what I'm looking at. Comp. And um, the thickness field, so you can see that when, if, when something is black, it means that uh, it's not something required. When it is uh, red, it's something, it's a field uh, that it is actually required. So in here, for example, I can call this uh, interval. And this is actually interv. Maybe that's uh, the new field that's going to be created for the thickness. So that's basically what I uh, mentioned in the beginning, which is the to minus from. So that's the new interval. And it's supposed to be equal to 1, okay? in the new uh, you know uh, field here so uh, now if you want to generate coordinates so we want to create some coordinates field in order to visualize these as points maybe if I check this box then you will notice that I have the database available in here which means that since now we're using just an interval file in which we don't have any coordinates we need e, uh, e, something that we can use as uh, a reference in order to generate these coordinate and the only reference for us is the database since we have the color file that uh, in which we have the coordinates of the uh, the top of that uh, drill hole so we can use that as a reference so we use the the drill hole database in here uh, to uh, calculate these new coordinates but we're not going to do that for this one and you can just generate a report uh, file here okay and let's go and run this and it is uh, created so let me go and view this and you can see now that I have this in you here that so we have the whole ID and from to and so on and I have all the different uh, composited of it and you can see that the interval now is one okay so this the interval this is the field that we've created and it's all one 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 and so on so you can see that the interval is from 88 to 89 from 89 to 80 and so on so this is how to do drill hole compositing you can then go and visualize this and uh, by grade or by whatever you want you can see also the grade is also uh, we've applied that um, that uh, average, uh, the, the weighted average by the length and that's how to do drill hole compositing so this is really important and if you want to see the real importance of this one and uh, you want to see the drill hole compositing in action and why do we actually need it and the statistics before we do the drill hole compositing because it's not just displaying a histogram so we can see all the different population inside that you know the 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 data set that we have the grade population and then we subdivide them and then we look at a bunch of you know statistics before we actually uh, do the uh, compositing and the block modeling later on and then we can also do resource estimation and uh, resource classification based on the confidence in the uh, resources so if you're interested in all of these uh, things then we cover all of that and more in my advanced block modeling and resource estimation course if you want to take a look at geological modeling or implicit modeling with micromine and creating implicit models then take a look at my implicit modeling course so um, that's it for this video I hope it was informative don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you're interested if you like it and uh, if you have any question make sure to comment that below because I answer every single question that I have in the uh, commands and if you have something to suggest I'm happy to take a look at that and probably make a video about it so with that being said see you in the next video